Good day everyone, I am Lemuel Brian Galio. Today I am discussing the function and parts of a single lens camera which is the uh, FM10 Nikon. So there are 30 parts. So first is the shutter speed ISO. Uh, here I have an example. Here uh, shutter speed ISO or film speed set 3 sets the speed of the shutter and control the length of time when striking in sensitized material so second is the shutter release button here the shutter release button uh, the shutter release button the control that releases the aperture opening lifts up the mirror and exposes the film to the lights third is the film advance lever so here the film advance lever film advance lever so it is the moving film from one spool to another incrementally one frame at a time so the, the fourth parts is frame counter uh, frame counter here the frame counter an indicator in roll film cameras that shows the number of frames that that have moved through the camera the fifth parts is the next drop eyelid uh, here the next trap eyelid next trap eyelid a small hole used as an attachment point for a strap or string uh, a, cam a camera accessory which allows the camera to be carried securely six is the hand grip the hand grip there the hand grip the camera the hand grip allows the photographer to grip the camera and giving a secure hold to record the photograph. Next is the self timer lever. So self timer lever here. This is a self timer lever. Uh, this mechanism trips the shutter after a short delay, usually to seven. To 10 seconds allowing everyone to be in a photograph next is the lens release button here the lens release button is responsible for releasing the lens from the body to facilitate removal so the the ninth part is the Hot shoe contact or accessory shoe. Here. A hot shoe is a mounting point on the top of a camera uh, to attach a flash unit and other compatible accessories. It takes the form of an angled metal bracket surrounding a metal contact point which shorts an electrical connection between camera and accessory for standard brand independent flash synchronization the thin part is the film rewind crank here the film rewind crank first once a roll of a film is complete this allow a photographer to rewind the film back into the film cassette the 11 part is the film rewind knob. Film, yeah, the film rewind knob. A film rewind knob is a mechanism that turn to rewind the film back into the canister. Next is the film speed window. Film speed window 
a button that indicates the ISO of the film and if adjusted, it will confirm the sensitivity of the film. The 13th part is the aperture ring. Here. The aperture ring. Aperture ring. The part of the lens barrel that can be turned to adjust the Irish diagram to different f-stops allow you to adjust the size of camera apertures. The 14th part is the distance scale. The distance scale is the above of aperture ring. It's the below, rather. A dip of field scale sits on either side of the focus index mark. The distance range encompassed by the two numbers representing the aperture set on the lens is the dip of field, the near and far limits of apparent sharpness in a photograph, what allows you to zoom in or out of a shot. The 15th part is the focusing ring here focusing ring the focusing ring the band on the camera lens that when turn moves the lens in relation to the film plane focusing the camera for a specific distance next is the dip of field Preview lever. Deep of field preview is a function that allows you to see your deep of field through the viewfinder before you take a photo. The 17th part is the multiple exposure lever. exposure level lever rather allows you to expose a single frame more than once the 18th part is the exposure measurement button here above the release button exposure composition is a technique for adjusting the exposure indicated by a photographic exposure meter in consideration of factors that may cause the indicated exposure to result in a less than optimal image. So next is the back view of a single lens reflex camera. Uh, this is the 19th part which is the viewfinder eyepiece. A viewfinder is what the photographer looks through to compose and in many cases to focus the picture. Most viewfinders are separate and suffer parallax while the single lens reflex camera lets the viewfinder use the main optical system, a device on a camera showing the field of views of the lens used in framing and focusing the camera the 20th part is the rewind fork here uh, rewind fork is the grips that film in order to rewind it back into the canister next is the film cartridge chamber Film cartridge chamber is a light tight chamber or pair of chambers designed to hold film and move motion picture film stuff before and after it has been exposed in the camera. The 22 part is the battery chamber lid which is
is where the battery is located next is the tripod socket here the tripod socket that the 3d opening in the base of a camera allowing it to be secure to a tripod which had a special bolt next the 24th parts is film guide rails there a sequence of images of moving objects photographed by a camera and providing the optical illusion of continuous movement when projected onto a screen the 25 the 25th parts is the film's sprockets and uh, film sprockets the rectangular holes on both edges of film such as 35 millimeter that are used to accurately advance the film through the camera next is the camera back the camera back back of camera and keeps the camera light tight the 27th parts which is the film pressure plate that indicates the back of, of camera film pressure plate the spring loaded flat piece on the inside back of a camera that holds the film securely against the film plane so the 28 parts is the fa film rewind button here film rewind button press to release your roll of film before rewinding the film back into the canister the 29th parts which is the film take up spool and film take up spool a film is a wound around it as photographs are taken and pulls the film along so an exposed film can advance and place behind the shutter so the last part which is the 30th part the film cartridge confirmation window here, which is attached to the uh, back of camera uh, you can check the film type, the number of frames, and the ISO film speed in the film confirmation window. And so, that ends of my discussion. So, thank you everyone for listening and have a good day.